Thanks for joining me here at Power Mods. I'm starting the much anticipated 800 Polaris IQR mountain mod build. Doesn't look like much right now because we are starting this from the ground up. But I'm gonna tell you, the stuff that we have going on this, the parts from the manufacturers is gonna blow your mind. Everything is insane. The best you can get from the suspension, Nextech carbon fiber suspension going in the back, a monoshock type. It's the lightest one ever made. Wait till you see it. It's their newest model. Blow your mind. Alka suspension on the front, stage five shocks, CNA Pro skis, team aftermarket clutch, BR Tech racing hood, Van Amberg Enterprises has made us a custom tunnel for this, like nothing you've ever seen before. Newly designed running boards, double pass cooler in it. It is an amazing piece of art. Wait till you see that. Alternative Impact has made us A-arms for this. We're gonna have a 36 inch stance on it, powder coated by Ottawa Powder Coating. I'm gonna be installing that 163 inch Camoplast multi durometer Peak 2.5 track, an amazing new track that they have designed, and I'm gonna have it on here. It's gonna be amazing, wicked traction, wait till you see it. It's gonna have an Ultimax belt, Evans waterless coolant, C3 Power Sports synchro drive. A lot of these parts here are courtesy of Rockstar Energy OTSFF race team, gotta thank them. They've also supplied this chassis, which was in a very bad accident. Ian Hayden was riding it, never completed the race. Bad accident, he's fine. The sled didn't do so well, the tunnel is destroyed. That's why we've got that nice Van Amberg tunnel coming in. We have to do some straightening out, but we can easily do that. Jaws is gonna be building us a custom pipe. I've got the Rock Speed FX adjustable risers. I'll be ditching the small gas tank, the little race tank that goes on there. We're gonna put the trail tanks, 10 and a half gallon tank on there. B&M Fabrications has made a really cool bumper that they make for these IQRs. Really nice to have, instead of that little handle underneath the front there, you get to grab onto the front, nice big bumper comes out, good for bashing trees. So that's what we've got going on this. You're not gonna wanna miss this build. Stick around, the build starts now. All right, let's get this party started. We've gotta get this tunnel off. The steering hoop is a little bit bent down here, are these arms, so we're gonna have to straighten that out as well. Gotta get that cooler out of the front, but this, for the most part, is more or less junk because we have to get it ready for that Van Amberg tunnel that's coming in tomorrow. So let's get that done. Now, if you've seen this crash, it happened in Duluth, 2012, I believe. You'll see how intense it was. And it's amazing that anything is left of this sled. But it's been tweaked pretty good in the back end. The front end we can fix up pretty easily. It attests to the strength of this Polaris IQ racer, that's for sure. How old is that hammer? Check it out. One of Keeley's favorites, I guess. Found it in the box, I had to grab it. Got a newer one, but that's so old school. Not to mention that it's a claw hammer. Probably built a lot of forts in its life. She's coming. Flip it over. Lower it there. Perfect. Just a couple more rivets to come out and then that hoop should come right off. Hey, you hear that? A little bit of pressure on that. That's not too bad. Now we only have about 3,000 rivets to drill out here. And through the magic of television, watch this. Okay, so come around. I think it's good right to here, right to this rivet. Into this rivet. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so. Yeah. so that didn't go too badly. Maybe about 50, 60 rivets, maybe not even. So we're looking at this bulkhead assembly, if you will, and it's pretty twisted. I don't know if you can see that coming down. Come at this angle here, uh, Simon. 
keep coming more, more. If you can see that or not, kind of hard to see that from here. Or let's look at this. It's got a pretty big kink in it right here. Everything up to here is actually straight. So we're just gonna put a piece of two by four in here to block this, keep it from moving, and then we're gonna use this press and see if we can't twist that down. But other than that, everything looks pretty tight. Okay, let's cut that two by four. We've taken a piece of two by four, measured it up, because this area is nice and actually flush, just the way it's supposed to be. This has to come down this way. We've used a piece of angle iron here, and we're just gonna tweak it a little bit, and then we'll move it out and tweak it a little bit and work our way around. We don't want to just do this all at once because something else is going to bend a little bit. So come on in here. Come on in right in here. Can you see that little uh, open area right there? Yeah. Because it wants to spring back into place, it's got a little bit of memory in it. We're just going to put a small shim in and just kind of overextend it just slightly. Okay, let's check this out. I think we actually got it on that attempt. Oopsie. Well, that's bang on. So watch this. If I do this, this one here still needs some tweaking. Next. I think we've got this side licked. You know, once we put that new tunnel on here, I'm kind of counting on that to help just with the very final fitment of it. Should be pretty good. But we've taken out the excess bends in it. That's a good thing. Now I'm going to turn this side over and straighten it out on this side. But if you look at this here, there's a little bit of bending to be done. You know what, I think that's as good as we're gonna get it. So all we really have to do now is just wait for that tunnel to come in. It's gonna be here tomorrow. Then we get to put this thing on, tighten everything up, and it's gonna be pretty good. Basically, we'll hide all this underneath it. So that just about wraps that up. I can't do anything else on this today. I've gotta to wait till I get that Van Amberg tunnel. We're gonna install that. That's gonna be fun. Probably take the better part of a day to do it. But I gotta thank you guys for coming back. Make sure you stay tuned, keep coming back for more videos. This is gonna be a fun build. Thanks for watching.